Roth IRA, traditional IRA, 401k. Are you totally confused by all these terms and acronyms? Watch this video for a super beginner friendly explanation of how these accounts work and their differences, pros and cons. By the end of this video, you'll know which one makes the most sense for you or if you already have something open, what to do with it. And if you wanna learn more about how to get started investing, hit that subscribe button right now for new money and investing videos from me every week. So let's get right into it. All three of these accounts are designed to help you save for retirement. That means they come with restrictions on when you can withdraw the money. So typically you have to wait till you're 59 and a half to start spending your money in any of these three accounts. But they also come with amazing tax benefits. If you don't take advantage of the huge tax breaks you get from having these accounts, you're leaving tens of thousands of dollars on the table. Back in the day, the traditional IRA was the only type of IRA, hence the name traditional. So if you contribute $6,000 to your traditional IRA, which is actually the maximum allowed contribution in 2019, then you reduce your taxable income by $6,000. That's huge. That's 30 to 40% taxes on $6,000 that you don't have to pay. You know how you get a tax break when you donate to charity? It's just like that, except that the money, instead of going to charity, is going to yourself. So if you put away $6,000 into a traditional IRA every year, the tax savings are really gonna add up. That's one benefit, but it doesn't end there. The investments in your traditional IRA also get to grow tax-free. Outside of a retirement account, you typically have to pay capital gains taxes when your stock investments increase in value. Given that 94% of your retirement nest egg is gonna come from stock market growth, investing inside of a traditional IRA is gonna save you so much money in taxes. First, when the money goes in and saving you income taxes, and secondly, when the money is growing and you don't have to pay capital gains taxes. When you turn 59 and a half, you can start withdrawing money from it, but now those withdrawals actually will be taxable. So a traditional IRA lets you make tax-free contributions on the front end, but you don't get to make tax-free withdrawals on the back end. If you wanna find out about some other ways to reduce your taxes, then check out this video on tax loopholes right here. Now let's talk about Roth IRAs. The only difference between a Roth and a traditional IRA is in the timing of the tax benefits. Remember how with traditional IRAs, your contributions result in an immediate tax break that year. In a Roth IRA, you don't get that. That's because contributions to a Roth are after tax. So here's the good part with Roth IRAs. When you turn 59 and a half, you can start withdrawing money and it's 100% tax-free. Yes, girl, tax-free retirement income for the rest of your life. Can I get a hell yes? Traditional IRAs give you a tax break upfront and no tax break in retirement and Roth IRAs Instead of giving you the tax break up front, you get a permanent tax break in retirement. So you can get a tax break now or in the future, but not both. An easy way to think about it is that traditional IRAs give you immediate gratification in the form of tax benefits today, while contributions to a Roth are a form of delayed gratification because you have to wait until retirement to enjoy the tax benefits. So now that you know the difference between traditional and Roth IRAs, how do you decide which? First of all, if you're single and you make over $122,000, a Roth is not even an option for you. And this also applies if you're married and you together make over $193,000. Because unlike traditional IRAs, Roths have income qualification limits. That's because they're so awesome. So obviously if you're over the income limit, this is an easy decision for you because you'll just have to go with the traditional IRA. You can even have both of them. You can have a traditional and a Roth together as long as you keep your total contributions annually to no more than $6,000. Personally, I prefer Roth IRAs by a long shot. And I really think younger people like millennials like me should really consider Roth IRAs over traditionals. I don't know anyone who enjoys paying taxes, and if you do, then you're weird. And I love that with a Roth, I can just pay taxes once with the contributions that go in and then never have to pay taxes again. The judgment call you have to make for yourself is whether you think your tax rate will be lower or higher in the future. If you think your tax rate is gonna be higher in the future, then it's better to just pay the taxes now with a Roth and never have to pay taxes later. But if you think your tax rate is gonna be lower when you retire, then it's better to pay the taxes later in retirement with a traditional IRA. And if your tax rate stays the same, then it actually doesn't make a difference whether you go with the traditional or the Roth. But think about it. 
Isn't it much more likely that tax rates will be higher in the future, not lower? The US government is currently $22 trillion in debt, and politicians keep introducing tax, tax cuts in order to get elected, so they're just kicking the can down the road, and one day we're all gonna have to pay for it in the form of higher taxes. So if you're on the fence, I would say go with the Roth IRA, because even if taxes go up to 50, 60, 70%, you'll always have the security of knowing that you will have a tax-free retirement. Now let's talk about 401ks. A 401k is just a retirement plan that behaves just like the traditional IRA, except that it's sponsored by your employer. The best part about 401ks is the employer match. Most companies offer to match your 401k contributions dollar for dollar, or maybe it's 50 cents for every dollar you put in, or even better. At my first job, the employer match was three for one. So they gave $3 for every dollar that I contributed. I know, it was pretty amazing. And it's literally the main reason why I have a good sized investment portfolio for someone my age. I mean, employer 401k match is free money. So if your job offers it, you should always max that out, period. Never say no to free money. So what's the difference between 401ks and traditional IRAs? Other than that they're sponsored through your employer, also the contribution limits are much higher. As of 2019, you can contribute up to $19,000 per year. And if combined with employer match, you can contribute up to a total of $56,000 into your 401k every year. This means you can put away a shitload of pre-tax money away for retirement. 401k plans are generally pretty limited in their investment options, whereas IRAs give you a lot more flexibility. You can't really pick your own stocks in a 401k, and you'll probably only have a handful of index funds that you're allowed to choose from. But with an IRA, you can invest in whatever stocks and bonds you want, you can buy and sell options, and you can even invest in real estate. So really anything is game with an IRA. In general, the ideal combination is to have a 401k and a Roth IRA. You can and should have both. You can have a 401k and a traditional IRA, you can have a 401k and a Roth IRA, and you can even have all three as long as you stay within the, the contribution limits. To learn more about how to actually invest the money in your retirement accounts, make sure you also check out these two videos here. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe for new money and investing videos every week. Always remember to go after your dreams unapologetically and to live life on your terms. Cheers.